Let's connect with our viewers because uh, there are a plethora of funds available in the market to invest your hard-earned money in. But how do you assess which is the right portfolio, which is the right fund for your portfolio? What are the criteria that one should be looking at? Now, to help you navigate through this maze, uh, we have with us Pankaj Matpal, uh, MD, Optimum Money Managers, to help you sort out your financial portfolio queries. And just in case you're watching the show live, you can also send across your questions on our WhatsApp number, which is 865-797-4571. You can also email us your questions on the money show at etnow.tv. Uh, good evening, Pankaj, and welcome to the show. And uh, we have our first viewer. Um, okay, so we are taking Sudhakar's question. Uh, he's from Tamil Nadu. We are trying to get him on the call because he was connected. I think it just uh, got disconnected. So he says that he wants to uh, uh, build a corpus for his son. His son is right now 19 years old and uh, he's investing. He wants to invest almost uh, 15,000 per month uh, via SIP and uh, he wants you to recommend uh, three mutual funds for this particular financial goal. Once I have Sudhakar on the phone line, we'll, uh, uh, we'll discuss more on this uh, uh, because we also want to know what's the kind of existing portfolio he has, etc. But then, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's a very good intention. And uh, having said that, I think the time frame is also pretty decent, 15,000 per month by SIP. So what kind of mutual funds would you recommend? Kavita, good evening. As you mentioned that uh, he wants to invest for uh, 15 years. So I suggest he should have uh, large cap, mid cap, small cap, all kinds of uh, uh, mutual funds in his portfolio. But in large cap, uh, instead of uh, buying a large cap fund, I'm suggesting him that uh, he should have a flexi cap fund because generally we see that in flexi cap, uh, larger allocation is in large cap only. So one flexi cap fund, one mid cap fund, and one small cap fund. That will be a good suggestion for him. And in large, in, in flexi cap, I suggest uh, uh, he can buy Bajaj Finsar uh, flexi cap fund, uh, Mutral Oswal mid cap fund, and for small cap, Tata small cap fund can be a good choice for long term. All right, I don't have him on the phone line, but uh, I really want to understand the uh, uh, reason behind your recommendation. Is this, uh, so there's a flexi cap you recommended, there's a mid cap from Motilal Oswal and Tata small cap. What's the rationale behind this recommendation? Are you looking at returns? Are you looking at a specific fund manager strategy or their particular call? Because I think the kind of environment we are into, uh, we are also talking about looking at value strategies from investors. You know, it's a rate card scenario and now is the time where we might really reap the benefits from value strategies. Strategies. Obviously, growth is always on our radar. But then, uh, uh, what is so unique about these funds that you've recommended? Kavita, see, he wants to invest through SIP for long term, for 15 years, investment horizon. Uh, in this case, diversified funds and a simple fund will be better choice. See, value style or any other category, contra, contra fund, etc. If suppose you're investing in lump sum at this moment and you're expecting from an event that uh, you get some better returns then we can consider or otherwise in a portfolio when you have uh, all growth style funds and along with that you want to add one value style fund that can also be a good choice but because here uh, simply I want to suggest funds for long term so I chose these three uh, categories uh, broader market uh, categories uh, flexi cap mid cap and small cap but along with that if he wants to add one uh, value fund that can be uh, added but especially considering that event is there and that is why we choose some uh, fund uh, may not go well uh, right now until unless he has a specific reason to select some category, any uh, theme, any, uh, any uh, different style or sector. Otherwise, diversified funds in growth style will be a good choice. All right. I don't think so. I have him on the phone line, but I hope uh, this clears his uh, query and the kind of funds you've recommended. Uh, he can just begin uh, his investment for his son. Let's move on and let's take Vishnu's question, Pankaj. And this question is via email and he wants you to review his portfolio. He's invested in four funds and he's confused to pick a mid cap. Current portfolio, uh, uh, he has... Um, two section ATC funds which is uh, ELSS and uh, he is still in the old tax regime so he says that he's using uh, he's investing in HDFC retirement equity fund and uh, he has quant ELSS and uh, he's also invested in ICICI large and mid cap uh, Kotak small cap and uh, he's confused about the fifth fund to be in the portfolio uh, he's confused between quant mid cap and Motilal Oswal uh, uh, mid cap and also uh, Mire uh, mid small cap uh, mid and small 400 uh, uh, mentor fund that was launched uh, fund of fund um, 
the funds that he mentioned, he's investing 4,000 each in all these funds and plan to step up his SIP by 10%. Uh, the profile is of an aggressive investor and uh, uh, he says that uh, he's accumulated 6 lakhs so far via this portfolio and uh, the mid cap and small cap specifically is for the goal of child education and he ex expects a substantial amount of almost 50 lakhs in 16 years. Target corpus is 50 lakhs from the other two funds and a pension uh, like SWP from HDF HDFC retirement funds which is for 26 years. He's allotted time frame to each and every fund. So the HDFC retirement fund 26 years he's going to invest in. Quant ELSS 16 years time frame. Kotak small cap again 16 years time frame he has and so is uh, for ICICI large and mid cap and Kotak small cap. So uh, a, a, a very good strategy in terms of align, uh, you know, aligning or giving out uh, investment horizon to each fund. But having said that, um, does he really need a mid cap fund where he's confused about or can he just add on that money in one of these funds? Abhita Singh has two different goals. One is uh, child education and another one is retirement. And uh, see, he has already, he has four funds and he wants to add one more. But out of that, what he has mentioned that two funds he wants to uh, invest in for his child education for 16 years. So here, if I consider this uh, strategy, mid cap is missing here. And he has already identified three funds. But if you see, one is mid and small cap. And he has small cap in his portfolio, Kotak small cap fund. So that is why out of three, I would suggest that uh, mid and small he should avoid. Then he had choice uh, between two mid cap funds. And here, Mutilal Oswal mid cap fund will be my recommendation. So that is one. And as you asked me that whether he should really invest in mid cap, I'll say yes. Because he wants to invest for a long term. He had mentioned that he is an aggressive investor. So and through SIP, he wants to invest. So adding one mid cap fund will be a good choice. So that is why this uh, Motilal Oswal mid cap fund uh, can be considered. As far as the goal is concerned, uh, I expect that if we, if, if we assume 12 to 15 percent return, he can definitely uh, achieve his goal for his child education. For retirement, though he had mentioned that 50 lakh something he wants to accumulate, but for long term 26 years, his target should be bigger. But because he has already accumulated 6 lakh rupees by now, and he has been, he'll be investing uh, this uh, 4,000 into three schemes. So 12,000 rupees for that. And if he also step up his investment, I expect that he would achieve his uh, goal of retirement as well. All right, so that's the kind of recommendation coming for uh, Vishnu. Uh, so stepping up 10% is enough, Pankaj, or he needs more? See, uh, because he is not uh, mentioned that how or he has not told that how much exactly he wants to accumulate or, or what he has mentioned 50 lakh rupees that I do not agree with. So either I should know that how much he spent now based on that considering inflation I can calculate that how much he will require in future. So that information is missing. So uh, based on the information provided that he is investing 12,000 rupees for this. So at least 10 percent he can he, he should start now. But whenever his income increases he has the lump sum available with him, he should definitely try to top up. All right, so Vishnu, uh, definitely a step up is needed and uh, uh, that is uh, a, for a very important goal. Achha, also one thing, you know, about uh, HDFC retirement fund. Um, so I think currently what he is doing is because he's in the old tax regime, he's using the benefit. Now it is very essential for everyone to understand that the old tax regime someday or the other is going to just fade out because we're also seeing an onboarding of almost 80 to 85 percent in the new tax regime. So all of these benefits would go. Uh, uh, using these investment instruments to uh, gain uh, uh, tax benefits was is, is a story of the past now. Having said that, now if at all Vishnu only gets onto the new tax regime, is it safe or is it recommended to get rid of ELSS funds if, if the lock-in period is over and if each SIP uh, units are free? Kavita, uh, one can see the performance of fund. See, if they lose the lose to a tax benefit on that, still they can continue investing, especially if you talk about retirement plan. Uh, this HDFC retirement fund is as good as a flexi cap fund. See, if you see the portfolio, uh, it is managed exactly like a flexi cap. So if the performance is good and exactly if we talk about HDFC 
uh, retirement fund, uh, it, it has been performing well. So without considering tax benefit, even one can uh, stay invested and continue investment. But at any point of time, if you feel that uh, uh, performance is not good, then you have choice to stop your further investment in that. Though in that uh, solution-oriented fund or uh, like uh, HDFC retirement fund, there's a lock-in and uh, there's an exit load on that. So the amount which has been invested, uh, investor may not be able to exit for a time period, but uh, further investment can be discontinued. All right, uh, quickly let's move on and uh, let's take Monica's question. She has 2.5 lakh to invest in mutual funds. She doesn't have a specific goal. Uh, she just wants to park it so that the money grows for her. And uh, the kind of mix she's looking at is ICICI Pro Blue Chip, Barak Parik Flexi Cap, Kotak Emerging Equity, uh, Mira Asset Large and Mid Cap. And uh, she's also considering investing in stocks, which I think is the uh, aspect which can be covered in any other show on the channel. But uh, yeah, what would you recommend? Quickly, Pankaj. Kavita, the funds uh, which she has identified are good and she, uh, these are well diversified funds in uh, large cap, mid cap, small cap category. So, so definitely she can invest in these funds. Uh, for stocks, as you mentioned, uh, first thing that retail investor should stick to uh, mutual funds until unless they have good knowledge about, about stocks and have access to research. But de definitely if she wants to invest, she can take, take help. Uh, so choice of schemes is good. One more question is there about SWP to her and to all the investors. My recommendation, if you really need uh, to manage cash flow, then only consider SWP. Otherwise, let your money grow for long term. All right. On that note, I think it's a wrap. And thank you so much, Pankaj, for taking time out and helping our viewers uh, with all of their financial portfolio queries today. And uh, for all the viewers who are watching the show live, uh, what you can do is just send across your questions. Uh, you can WhatsApp us your queries just in case you're watching the show live. Any aspect of your financial planning that you want a strategy from our experts, you can WhatsApp your queries and you can also email us your queries. 865-797-4571 is a WhatsApp number. The money show at etnow.tv is the email ID where you can send across your question. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.